Hey, how's it going, Mike? Douglas James here. Thanks for tuning in. So, this is your SEO video analysis, um, and I'm really happy that I was got a chance to do this for you. So, I'm going to be going over SEO. Um, you pretty much know what it is. I'm going to go into you know what, where your site's at, where are the top competitors, how much traffic are you getting versus them. You know what's their AdWord campaigns look like, what yours look like, what's some improvements we can make on that. Um, so I'm going to be going all over that. This is going to be about a 10 to 20 minute video, so please get comfortable. Um, and I'm just going to get started here. So you've already seen the website, amplocal.com. Um, so thanks for reaching out once again. So, all right, here's your site, granitegold.com. So I'm going to give you like a basic understanding of SEO, which you probably already know. Um, but obviously you know that over 90% of your customers are going to be searching through Google um, and over 80% of them are going to come in from an iPhone or Android. So your site has to be mobile friendly, right? So there's four basic principles um, we like to use for SEO. You know, even though Google's algorithm has over 200 determining factors, um, there's four things that really comes down to. It comes down to content, uh, site mobility, um, backlinks and citations and citations is like your you know Facebook page or Yelp page or your uh, you know local uh, house page all these online directory citation pages yellow pages all that good stuff um, but for you at a, as a national brand um, the backlinking and the content and video is going to be huge and obviously having a mobile friendly site so the first thing I'm going to show you about your site, um, I ran it through Google's mobile friendly test and it turns out it's not mobile friendly. It is a word word page, I'm sorry, WordPress site. Um, so it looks like there's some modifications that need to go back, be done to go back in and make sure that it converts nicely on a uh, mobile device, seeing that over 80% of your customers are going to be looking at this from a phone, right? So this is pretty vital, and this is what's really affecting your rankings. I'm going to show you your rankings here in a second, but um, I, I really didn't find you on page page ones or page twos. They were more like page four through ten. All right, for some pretty big keywords that you definitely want to be in the forefront for. So this is um, the first thing that needs to happen. Um, so we can definitely get your site mobile friendly with through WordPress. We would just need you know access to uh, to that account to get that done. Um, the next thing, uh, uh, content for the home page, you know, where's my Google Keyword Planner? Okay, so I came in here, um, just punched in, you're probably familiar, you know, you're familiar with AdWords and the Keyword Planner, um, but the product, somebody needs this type of service or product, you know, 200 to 250,000 times a month, they're searching it online, you know, how to clean granite with some great granite cleaners uh, stone cleaners all right all that good stuff um, so you know how to find all the top keywords here right um, granite cleaner by far is the top one at nearly 3,000 times a month all right so all of these keywords that we're going to rank your site for um, what we need to do is build out some very strong content on the home page <laughs> I would say at least 2,000 words, okay? If we're going to be ranking nationally, we want to have some a, a tremendous amount of content on the home page with all of these keywords that we are going to be trying to rank for, right? So um, all of these granite, you know, cleaner, restoration uh, types of keywords that are relevant, um, how to clean granite, granite countertops, all that good stuff. Uh, we want to build some nice content and have a nice chunk of information here in the center. Uh, what is what I mean by, you know, a good size ch chunk of content? I just went to Google, typed in elephant. Wikipedia is, you know, popular for these searches and as number one because of their content, right? So you come to this page, you see, you know, tons of information about elephants, their habitat, their evolution, what they eat, where they sleep, everything. So this is what I mean. You want to have a nice large chunk of information, something like that you know, in the center of the page about to educate people on granite because that's what face, um, that's what Google's reading. They're reading the content on your page and determining which keywords you're going to rank for and where you should be in the Google searches, okay? 
Um, so once we got your site mobile friendly, okay, which is a big thing that's hurting you right now, and then some more content, um, I want to talk to you a little bit about um, video, okay? Well, no, before I get into that, I'm, I'm going to finish the, the SEO portion of it. Um, so I looked at your the po how powerful your site is right now. Um, so it looks like you have you know 53 referring domains. That means there's you know 53 unique sites out there mentioning you online. So there's a link to your website on their page, and then you have 1,552 backlinks. So these are also um, other pages, but these can be social media or, or things of that nature. Okay, so that's quite a few. Um, this is the most important number, this trust flow 23. This is the quality of your site. So this goes from zero to 100, but you want to be over 20 for sure. Um, 20 is good, but if you're going to go national, getting over 30 is, is going to be the best. So uh, as I show you this chart here, um, you know, any, anybody serious in the market is going to have a 20 trust flow minimum. Um, but if you want to rank you know, nationally, we're definitely going to have to give more power. So that's just going to mean more backlinks, better performing, high, better high performing backlinks that are more trusted. So this is kind of like we want to give you, you know, popular links like the Warren Buffett or in, in the Bill Gates types of links, not just like the average schmo, low popular links, you know, that are like five trust flow according to this chart. OK, so that's that's a basic understanding of of the backlink process so these are essentially you know websites articles blogs online that we either create or have partnered up with and we have a database of over 10,000 but we you know we partnered up with other blogs and like I said article writers online where we can get you mention you know significant mentions online leading back to your site and that's going to show Google your popularity because Google really is a popularity contest all right so that's kind of like the, the SEO process, and that kind of showed you where you're at right now, you know, with, with, with your content and mobile, the mobility of your site and then how powerful your site is. Um, so let me show you some of your rankings right now, all right? And you're probably aware of these, you know, there's probably other keywords that you're interested in being ranked in, um, but organically for like Granite Cleaner, all right? So keep in mind, I'm in my incognito window with Google Chrome. I'm not signed into anything. There's no history. So this is straight up, you know, a dead search pretty much. Um, for Granite Cleaner, you're on page five, okay? Uh, let me just find you real quick. All right, right there, Granite Gold, page five, okay, for Granite Cleaner. Now, what's awesome about this is we know where you're at, okay? You're on page five. Okay, that's probably not bringing you in much traffic because most people right now are searching granite gold. They already know your product, but we're trying to get new customers, right? People that are searching like a general thing and finding you, granite gold. Okay, they know they have granite, they need a cleaner, so they're going to type in granite cleaner, right? Makes sense? You, you understand. Um, the next one is granite polishing. All right, so this one you're on page four and you are right somewhere here. Pass it. There you go. Rank number two. Um, I'm sorry. This is like rank number 42, but page four. All right. Another big one is how to clean granite countertop. And I'm going to show you in a second where I got these search. This is the top five keywords and long tail keywords that I found. I'm going to show you how I found these as well. All right. And for this one, you're right here at the bottom. Okay. On page, uh, page nine. Okay. So you're right there at the bottom and then how to clean granite you are page nine okay and uh, you are I keep missing you there we are right there in the middle of the page uh, page 11 and I went through twice and I double check every single page all right so in, in page 11 for granite countertop cleaner okay page 11 right here Okay, and it's the same article that educates people, right? Because you want to educate people. That's the purpose of all this. So we're going to drive people to that this article that um, that can educate them on the product. Okay, and a part of your education is getting more content on the home page and actually ranking the home page. That's what we want to do. We want to bring people to granitegold.com. Like no no inside sub uh, uh, pages. We want to bring them that page. Okay, 
So that's going to be the focus with the content, building a mobile friendly site and, and creating the powerful links behind it to give that popularity that Google needs to see for your site to rank. So that's, that's some of your rankings right now. So not too shabby, you know, I'm going to show you where I got these five keywords. All right. So I went to, um, I have a few tools that I use and one of your biggest competitors is um, that I could find is rockdoctor.com um, and you can see I'm looking at you and his data right so you're getting around 330 like SEO clicks these are people that are searching you know like a granite product and, and happen to find you right um, and then this is all your paper clicks so you're getting 1.3 clicks from that so uh, significantly you know like four or five times more traffic um, and you're paying for 119 words and then the rock doctor, you know, a little bit more clicks are paying for more words and they got more SEO. Okay. Cause that's, they're, they're more invested, right? So I got those keywords. Um, pretty much I came in, what, let me see. I think it was in my SEM rush. So the and the SEM rush, is another tool that I use to look at traffic, um, SEM rush combines other cert, uh, another, uh, other forms of searches. This includes uh, Bing and Yahoo and other other platforms of searches. Um, so the keywords I came over to Rock Doctor. I believe I saw them down here. Yeah. So granite cleaner, how to clean granite countertop. They were ranking in these. I believe they were paying for them too. I think it was in the spy foo. They were paying for these keywords. Yep. Uh, granite countertops. Um, I think you were paying for some of those as well. Polishing granite. Yep. These are really hot ones. How to clean granite, um, granite countertop care. So th this was like, I, I picked the top five ones that got the most traffic, you know, and then I went over to, um, the Google AdWord keyword planner. Um, get in. Uh, one second. Here we go. Yeah, and I went over here and I just saw, you know, picked the top five ones. Obviously, Granite Cleaner is the biggest one with 3,000 a month. Okay. Um, so that's how I found the keywords through my tools. Um, and then as you can see, you know, how much traffic, you know, they're getting. Pretty much, you know, you're ranked number one for your product. You know, they're ranked number one for their product. That's normal. You know, the product's out there, names out there. You're going to repeat customers that need the same product over and over again, right? Um, so what's cool about these tools though, I'm kind of, I'm sorry, I'm hopping around here, but like for this one, for rock doctor, um, let me go down here. So I can, I have all their best performing ads too. So as you can see, this is rock doctors, uh, campaigns. I can actually look at all of their top performing AdWord campaigns, um, that was giving them the, the biggest ROI, right. And giving them the best exposure. Um, and then also I can go in my tool here, go under PPC research, go to keyword groups. And what's happening is it's building a list of all the keywords that they paid for that gave them the best results. So they're paying a little bit less and getting more clicks. So that's more sales, less money, right? So I'm going to, what I'm doing is I'm going in here and finding out which keywords work best for them. And pretty much we're going to copy that and do that for you. Um, and there's other companies there's stone care, um, that we can do this with. And I can do the same thing. If I wanted to spy on your, uh, on your ads, I have them right here. Some of the best performing ones that you've ran, um, you know, in my tool, I can go in here and do the same thing. Um, it's still building the list. It's a big list. So it's probably going to take a few minutes. We'll come back to that. Um, I want to show you also, all right, so here's the list. <clears throat> you know, granite, granite sealer, uh, granite, granite cleaners, you know, you can see, you know, 2.88 thousand searches, 4.38 thousand granite sealer. That's probably, that's a big keyword that one would be ranked for as well. So pretty much can steal all their traffic. <laughs> pretty cool, right? Um, so let me show you this. This is a really good thing to show you. Uh, this is going to show you like where your traffic's coming from. This is important if you want to 
also do Facebook ads too. So I have you and then I have Rock Doctor. Um, and, and again, I'm, I'm going to say this. You may, not, you may consider Rock Doctor one of your top competitors. You may not. But just based off the analytics and everything that I'm looking at here and how many visitors they're getting, um, it is a pretty good competitor to look, to look at how, many, how much traffic's going between the sites. Um, so I know you have some other companies that you look at as competitors, but they're they're pretty solid ones. So that's why I'm kind of looking at the in analytics of the two. So um, I wanted to show you this real quick. So you are you are blue and Rock Doctor's orange. Okay. So right here shows you where all your traffic's coming from. So right now, uh, about seventy percent of all your traffic's coming from search. So these are people that are going into you know, being Google, Yahoo, and searching, you know, your products online right now. Um, the referrals, about 12%, these are people that are clicking links from like emails or maybe someone sent them the link or clicked the link, you know, from, from, from a friend or something like that. Those are considered referrals. And then direct, these are people that went and punched in the URL directly online and found you. Okay. Um, but the biggest thing I want to show you here that is the social. Okay. So social, you have 0%. So that means you have zero, um, ad strategies for Facebook to be pulling in clients or, or I mean, I'm sorry to be pulling in sales from there or educating, uh, people on your product, which we can do incredible things with on Facebook. I'm gonna talk to you about video in a second. So right now I just wanted to validate and show you that this tool is doesn't have it, but your this competitor, 3%, they have some social going on, but it looks like they don't have it figured out yet. Okay, so this tool just sh shows you, you know, where all your traffic's coming in. So I just want to show you that real quick. Um, it shows you like total visits, um, you know, this the past month, 15,000. Someone only stayed on your page for 31 seconds, while Rock Doctor, they stayed on the page for almost four minutes. So that has a lot to do with your page and the content and the video, the lack of video on the home page. You know, you literally have like two seconds to catch someone's attention. All right. So you want to keep them on your page as long as possible. All right. Um, so I went to YouTube and I looked up, you know, granite gold. I see that there's tons and tons and tons of, you know, there's literally 14 years of information on here and we need to really, Take some of this information, maybe the newer stuff, or maybe, you know, look at doing some more videos. But definitely, there's some really solid videos that we can use here. And we can place them on the website to, you know, uh, just bring in what's going to happen is the more videos you have on your site. And as long as they're optimized, okay, because you can do SEO on YouTube videos. I'm going to show you, I'll show you a video real quick that I ranked number one uh, nationally for, we wanted to, I do also do, uh, you know, party bus and limousine lead generation. Okay. Completely different from what you got going on, but this is just, I do, I do this all the time, but, um, this is just an example. We wanted to get more clients just through a YouTube video. So if you go and type in party bus lead generation, because party bus and limo companies need leads, right? If you go and this is in incognito, you know, I typed in party bus lead generation, you see this video. I did that's about 14 minutes long of a case study, you know, how we consistently bring 300 phone calls into this, you know, party bus business every month. Um, and that's given us phenomenal results. Okay. So this type of SEO to do to YouTube videos can be in extremely impactful to your videos on here. So when people are searching, you know, how to clean granite, and how to clean granite countertops, when they punch that into Google, you know, how to clean granite count countertops hope I spelled that right they'll see a video and it's of graniteandgold.com you know ranked one or two three at the top of the page and it looks like a block right you saw how it looked like a, a block video right it's not just text it's a block that's much more intriguing for someone to click on to to learn because they know there's a video behind there and high-end users people nowadays want to watch a video Okay, so this is one incredible strategy that we can use to educate uh, your your consumer base on your products and and get the name out there and have it and take up more spots on top of these searches. All right, because I showed you earlier, you know where 
where you were ranked and everything. So for all these keywords, we could potentially have a video at the top of each one of these pages, rank number one, two, or three, um, and, and of your product. Now with Facebook ads, the same thing. You know, we could put a video, target a specific audience, put a video out there in front of them. You know, we'll tailor the audience, you know, to make sure that they were interested in your product in the first place. And we have a whole process that we go through for that. We And then we put a video online that educates them um, and, and a place for them to click to go shop for the product. Okay, and, and it already makes sense for them to watch the video and shop for it because we targeted them accordingly. Okay, and um, one thing is very important, I believe, when you're running AdWords or you're running Facebook ads, you want to have what's called um, landing pages. So having websites, great, but if you could have a nice place um, for them to quickly get information or buy it right away is probably the best way. I do. I did see, I'm going to pull up your AdWord account here in a second. I did see that you ran some nice ads and you shot them straight over to the product where they can buy it. That's awesome strategy. That's what you need to do. Um, so, but for, uh, for Facebook, you want to do the same exact thing. So um, if you're running video to educate them or if you're promoting specific products, like if you wanted to sell this, the daily cleaner, you know, you would promote that. We would run a carousel ad and it would have all three of these they would scroll through to look at it on Facebook and click and go to the page where they can buy it. Or you can run video to educate them. There's just incredible things that we do with Facebook. All right, so I, you know, I kind of talked a little bit. It's been 20 minutes now already, but um, I talked to you about SEO, You know what needs to be done for that, how powerful your site is, the content, the mobility of your site. I hope that was some good eye openers for you and I hope that stuff made sense. Um, talked about the analytics between you and your competitors and how we could like steal their AdWord campaigns, uh, get the most profitable keywords, you know, pretty much take the traffic for them so and pay less and get more. Um, and so let me, sh let me open up your um, AdWord campaign now. I got it here somewhere. Here it is. So I made this little list. This is pretty much something that we do with every single ad every ad that we run we're targeting three specific keywords okay we're targeting them at a phrase match so that means that every time somebody types in say granite goal or how to clean granite or um, anything of that nature if they punch any of those words in every any uh, you know order your ads gonna pop up we like this better because it's more relevant because all the keywords are actually showing up in the search Rather than doing broad, you know, if they search one keyword but it has nothing to do with what you're trying to sell or educate them on, you'll show up and that would become a negative keyword. All right. Um, and then we always include number one and best because people want the number one product and they want to work with the best companies, right? Also, when you're looking at an ad and you see the nice hashtag one on top of the page, it looks a lot more attractive than just a bunch of words. So that's why we like to use that. Um, keywords, negative keywords, um, these are words that pretty much eat your budget and don't give you any conversions. All right, and once you take, once you um, generate a list of negative keywords and take these out of your, your uh, targeted uh, keywords, you're going to find your cost per click go way down and conversions go up. Okay, so that's, this is pretty much four things that I saw when I looked at your AdWords earlier. So I'll go into that here now to give you an example. So I'm already on the key negative keyword. So I saw that you had zero, you know, negative keywords selected um, to give you an idea, you know, of, of what one of those would be. Um, I can go over to the keywords and I would find ones that are like low searches or just costing you way too much money per click. I mean, this one right here would probably be no. That you wouldn't want that. You wouldn't want that one. Let's see. You have quite a few in here. So like these, um, these aren't making you really anything. Nobody's really searching that. So those are going to be negative keywords, even though they're not clicking. You want to include them in there. 
it's pretty much ones that's going to cost you a lot of money that are getting low conversions. Because if you're selling a five, six dollar product, you know, and it's costing you four or five dollars to get to get it sold because it's one keyword, you don't want to you know you don't want to bid on that keyword. I hope that makes sense, right? Um, and then let's look at your ads real quick. I don't want to take up too much more of your time. Um, so pretty much, if you're targeting, you know, buy granite gold, that's awesome for brand awareness. Um, but what you want to do is target those keywords and in the text, you know, so what's some of the, uh, you know, words that we're trying, we want to rank you for, you know, we want to rank you for granite cleaner, right? We want to rank you for granite polishing. And we know that in Google, both of these words combined are getting searched like 5,000 times a month, you know, nationwide. So if we ran an ad, if, if the top line said, you know, number one granite cleaner, and then it said, you know, best granite polishing, every time someone search, searches those 5,000 times a month, there is a very, very extremely high chance that Google is going to want to show that ad number one because that keyword showed up at the top. Okay, so for the brand awareness stuff, that's awesome because people are searching your products. So you want you you're gonna want to run these ads, right? You're gonna want want to run granite gold because your brand sells and people know it. So you want to be in all places as many places as you can. So I'm not knocking these at all, but what I'm saying is I want to we want to add, you know, those other keywords as well. So so like right here, this is perfect. So how you have, you know, number one granite cleaner, you want to also target, this is exactly what I want to show you, you want to target two more keywords in here as well. So just like I showed you on the list, target three keywords per ad, so you, so the ad has multiple op opportunities to show up for the most profitable keywords. So have uh, number one granite cleaner, then very next line, you know, best granite polishing or something of that nature. Okay. Um, so, yeah, and then also, you know, you can add in there uh, uh, best granite countertop cleaner. Okay, there's so many ways you want to go about it. And then uh, some of the filler words I didn't put on this page, but some of the best filler words that you use for ads um, is affordable, um, fast and, uh, effective. I see you used effective, um, but affordable, fast, effective is really good. Okay. So that's just some tips on, on the ad words. Um, but as far as like the keywords too, like I said, the phrase match, you know, so if you were to come in here, I don't know what's going on with, with all these, these don't look good but uh all the keywords if you go in here you already know how to change your your match type you have to select a row um you know doing doing your phrase match is going to be your your best bet all right let's see so i talked to you about three keywords per ad phrase matching them and you can do exact match too like if you want to do your brand and i saw some ads that you were doing in there that's good you want to do that do an exact match on granite gold. That's cool. Um, but you're going to get the biggest bang for your buck and the lowest cost per click when you do phrase match. All right. Um, and then the negative keywords. That's probably the biggest thing. Doing three keywords per ad and then the negative keywords is the biggest um, recommendations that I, that I have for you. So you guys run quite a few ads. Um, I can see that there's like a lot of... Uh, there's there's a lot of ads here, and not all of them are completely necessary. So I would be here all night, but um, definitely can dive deeper into this to uh, to figure this out for you and make sure it's taken care of. So all right, so we're running on thirty minutes now, um, Mike. I really appreciate you watching. I really hope this all made sense. Um, you know, hit me up. Let me know if you have any questions. You already have my all my contact information. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to locking elbows with you, um, getting you ranked up there on Google nationally, 
um, you know, really the hammering down the, the AdWords, uh, getting those, getting that traffic to the right places, you know, maybe even doing some YouTube ads or YouTube videos and getting those ranked as well. So you can educate clients. Um, and then of course the Facebook ads is, is going to be huge for you guys, you know, for sales, for education. I mean, for like future business company prosperity for like the next 10, 20, 30 years. So, uh, Facebook's big right now. Um, so I really appreciate it, Mike. Uh, thank you so much. And I look forward to chatting with you, right? Hit me up and uh, I'll talk to you then. Thank you.